So this is Ubuntu for Android, and Ubuntu for Android is uh, an operating system uh, it's based on Linux, and as you can see here, it's uh, totally different uh, to what you would expect on Android. Uh, it's available on the Nexus 4, Nexus 7, Nexus 10, and indeed the Galaxy Nexus. And uh, what you're viewing here is uh, is Ubuntu in on the Nexus 7, and uh, it's quite easy to flash. You just flash uh, one file through Fastboot, and then two files through uh, Sci Energy Mo uh, Clockwork Mod. Sorry. Uh, as you can see, with a lot of screen, you just simply swipe to the left uh, to enter your hub or your home panel. From here, you can view videos, uh, contacts, uh, recent people, and uh, featured apps, which are uh, indeed your most used uh, applications. At the minute, it's very basic and it's very alpha form. As you can see, it's laggy and certain things don't work, like people contacts. Um, as you can see, they're all pre-installed. Uh, swiping over then to the left again, um, it brings you to um, apps and indeed here, like this weather app. Um, it doesn't function, uh, but it's just a picture, a static image. Uh, what you saw there, I can swipe to the right again, and you can go uh, back and forward between apps, and multitasking is stream streamless, streamless sorry, uh, compared to, say, Android or iOS. Uh, notes works, and as you can see here, I can type fine, but at the minute there is a bug where the keyboard won't disappear. Uh, as you can see here, I'm swiping to the right, and I can jump through apps, but the keyboard still isn't there. Uh, so I have to turn the device on and off in order to get rid of the uh, of the keyboard at the minute. But like I said, it is an early alpha stage. Um, so yeah, that's the app panel. You swipe over again and you can get your videos. Uh, these are pulled in from multiple sources um, as far as I know. But at the minute you can't actually do anything. Uh, so the taskbar at the top, a notification bar as you can see here, swipe down a bit like Android. What, where this uh, unique feature is, if you move your thumb uh, left or right, you can uh, skip between certain aspects of the settings, like um, your main messages. Obviously, this integrates your Facebook, your Twitter, your calls, your messages, um, and your time and whatnot. And then you can simply swipe to get rid of uh, these functions, like in Android, Jelly Bean. As you can see, there's battery and networks and whatnot. And the minute Wi-Fi works, and so does um, phone calls and sending messages and GSM, etc. On uh, on the Nexus 4, but I don't believe 3G, 4G works yet, uh, which is a slight disappointment. But like I said, it is an only an early alpha stage. Uh, so yeah, that's a notification bar, and uh, as you can see, it's obviously Ubuntu looks great. Swiping over to your left brings up an app panel. From here, you can streamlessly swipe between apps uh, at your will. And as you can see, I've gone into the browser. At the minute, the browser connects to Wi-Fi, and it's as you can see here a bit laggy. Uh, it's not the best web browser out there, but like I said, obviously it's an early Ubuntu release. Swiping up from the bottom then brings you uh, to a search panel. Uh, from here you can go into settings and do numerous other options, etc. Um, it is also worth noting that Ubuntu, uh, Touch Ubuntu OS, was, uh, as it's called, is um, fully reliant on gestures, gestures, gestures sorry, and um, doesn't rely on any buttons other than the power and the volume. So as you can see, uh, uh, everything you can swipe up from the bottom, the side, left, the right, uh, to do everything. Uh, music is another app here, as you can see, where you can't actually do anything. It's just a static image, but it will give you an idea of what it looks like um, in future updates of Ubuntu Touch. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been my quick video on the alpha release of Ubuntu for uh, Vanessa's 4, 7, and 10.